Hey everyone, welcome to a new showcase. We are showcasing Aura Control for today's plugin, and uh, it works on versions 1.13 and 1.14, so only for the newer versions of Minecraft, but basically it allows you to control ores all in-game in via GUI, which is really helpful and really really resourceful to do it all in-game. So let's go ahead and do the main command, which is Aura Control, and in here uh, you can see specific worlds. Uh, right now I just have the world, but all your worlds would show up right here, and you can go ahead and select the world, and you can change ores in specific biomes or the whole entire world so here is all the biomes that you have so there's plenty of biomes and you can select the next page and see all the different biomes uh, to change but we're gonna go uh, over here and we're gonna change the the plain one and we'll probably do a uh, ocean one as well but you can change this biome groups at the top here and you can just have uh, select groups or specific biomes that, that you can change so once you go ahead and click whatever biome you can select all the different types of ores within that biome which is really helpful so for this uh, video showcase I'm gonna just go ahead and boost up uh, the diamond one. So you can boost up the vein size, the veins per chunk, minimum height, the height range, the subtract value, and veins per biome. So we can go ahead and boost up the vein size. So currently it is 8 by default. So we can go ahead and add the 3, add 1, minus 1, or minus 3. So let's go ahead and boost it like pretty much all the way up just to showcase for this video. Obviously you probably wouldn't want that. We're going to boost up a whole bunch of different values just to showcase in this video. Obviously you probably wouldn't want this for your server, but it's just uh, for showcasing. And uh, let's go ahead and boost up the veins per biome. So let's go ahead and boost that up a lot more. So we got 48. So there we go. Uh, we go ahead and did the diamonds one now let's go ahead and boost up uh the gold one we'll boost up the i'm pretty sure this is the y level for this one so we'll go ahead and boost that up and then another cool feature is that you can enable and disable certain ores. So for example, let's go ahead and disable redstone. So just go ahead and disable it, and then that will disable uh, all the, the redstone ores uh, in the plains biome. Keep in mind that this only affects newly generated chunks. For example, the biome that I'm currently in is the deep, uh, lukewarm ocean. This is not included with a plugin. This is just something I made so you guys can see. Uh, but when we go into the, the plain biomes, there should be no uh, redstone ores as long as it's a newly generated chunk. So let's go ahead and test that out. So let's over here and uh, I'm pretty sure uh, we got some planes we got some vanas over here so be sure to check out this video's sponsor, Sangata. Sangata is a new and unique marketplace where you can find free or paid custom plugins. With the help of continuous user and developer feedback, Sangata is continuously working towards making those ideas a reality. Visit the Sangata marketplace and Discord with the links below. And we are in luck, so these are newly generated chunks right here and we are in the plains biome. And there we go, there's the diamonds, a huge generation of diamonds right there, that's pretty insane. And there's no like redstone down here either, which is fantastic, so everything is working properly and then here's the gold as well so this is all in the plains biome so now we are in a different biome the local warm ocean and it's back to default so uh, it's really cool because you can change that uh, per biomes or you can change the whole world so go back to the ore control we can go to the world and then you can set a value for the whole entire world which is pretty cool uh, so you can enable and disable ones for the entire world uh, as I mentioned it only affects the newly generated chunk so just keep that in mind so I'm gonna go ahead and boost up the lapis we'll make a whole bunch of lapis uh, every everywhere with the vein size and this uh, is just going to be the in, in the entire world which is will be really helpful so let's go ahead and boost up uh, the diamonds as well so we'll boost up the diamonds uh, we'll go really really high so it'll be like the entire world almost so now I'm going to head and teleport to a, a random location and uh, it will generate some new chunks and we should have uh, that uh, entire world change because we boosted up the lapis as well as the diamond so I'll go ahead and wait for this to load there we go we got transferred into a new uh, chunk as you see we got tons of lapis uh, here that is a lot of lapis uh, that's actually a very insane and there we go we got all this working well and we got the lapis going and we got the the gold and the diamond so uh, that is the plugin pretty simple and last thing that I want to show you guys in the or control GUI is that you can create your own template when naming a template make sure it is uh, use the underscore instead of the space so uh, if you're typing let's say like my test and then we'll just do one so make sure it is uh, using the underscore or else uh, it won't recognize the name so once you have done that then you can uh, set specific values and for the whole uh, world as well so uh, and if you want to delete it you can just delete the template accept it and there we go and once it's deleted as you see it is gone in the GUI so that is the plugin uh, pretty nice uh, I really like this feature that you can customize everything within the GUI uh, with different ores uh, so I will leave the link down in the description I'll see you guys in the next video peace out Oh,